to Minister Coyle. You have the floor, sir. <coughs> Thank you, Honorable Speaker. So I'll, be, I'll be very brief because most of the stuff I wanted to cover has actually been canvassed by the Honorable Attorney General already. So just uh, in short, I mean, historically speaking, uh, if we look at the beginnings, and I think this was mentioned by the Honorable Attorney General, historically speaking, the, the origins of assessors were actually racially motivated, you know, uh, and, and a practice of the old colonial days, Honorable Speaker, sir. The introduction of assessors was, was uh, passed by the Legislative Council on the 29th of December, 1875, and uh, the ordinance then basically stated that in a trial before the, uh, before the court with the aid of assessors, the opinion of each assessor, assessor etc., etc., uh, shall be given orally and shall be recorded in writing by the court, but the decision shall be vested exclusively in the judge. Now, Honorable Speaker, sir, the use of assessors in Europe also uh, and its introduction clearly emphasized that it actually needs to be a change and this is what this is we need this is what uh, this bill is doing fiji needs to move with the times and and establish more firm jurisprudence uh, and to at best consistently deal with our legal issues um, mr speaker so from what i understand subject to correction um, i think it was about 2010 there was a case uh, where the assessors with no obvious legal expertise had come up with a, a opinion of guilty and this was actually overturned by a judge after the defense had raised the issue of insanity and the judge had to overturn it because that was actually the correct uh, correct uh, uh, verdict mr speaker you know if judges don't actually overturn these assessments we probably end up with a lot of innocent people having to serve sentences and in terms of consistency the legal system needs to maintain consistent decisions and alternately, alternatively, Honorable Speaker, sir, to develop modern and good laws. Uh, and this is why we, this particular bill has come about. Mr. Speaker, uh, sir, the administratively and, and practically speaking also, it saves uh, uh, taxpayers money whether they need to pay allowances to assessors to attend court cases, which no longer be required. It is anticipated, sir, that this will be saved, uh, this, all this time will be saved, there will be no more procedures relating to assessors and the lengthy opinions, etc., and summing up. All this can actually be done by a judge. Just as an example, sir, in, uh, 2000, in, nine, in the 1990s, Honorable Speaker, sir, there was a commission of inquiry on the Fiji courts, and the director of public, public prosecutions at that particular time had opposed the assessor system, suggesting to the commission that it actually should be abolished because assessors tend to lose their grasp of fraud trial evidence or to be easily swayed by racial undertones. Now, later on, they did make some submissions to the commission, and it was found that uh, uh, it was more so to do with the fraud trial and a little less on the racial undertones. But nevertheless, that was the actual opinion of the DPP then. Um, and several uh, were cases where the judge had felt forced to over overrule the assessors and others involved with the DPP's office obviously thought they were unsatisfactory acquittals where the judge had chosen not to intervene. So for those reasons, sir, just in short, uh, I stand in support of the bill, sir. Thank you. I thank the Honorable Minister Coyle. I now give the floor to the Honorable Nikonoi Kulok. You have the floor, sir. 